I was eight years old when I got on stage for the first time. I had to reenact Little Boy Blue. Even though the poem was only 12 lines long, I was certain I was going to mess it up. But the moment I began to speak, some hidden part of me seemed to take over. The lines flowed out of me without a hitch. And I felt like I wasn't even there. How is it we are able to do something so complex without even thinking? Marcus Rakel is a neuroscientist at Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis, Missouri. He is constantly amazed at what our brains can do. We have memories that have to do with how I move my hands and legs and all this kind of thing, for which we have no conscious sense of how this is all implemented. We kind of forget how complicated these things are. As an amateur musician, Marcus likes to compare our brain's separate functions, like vision, hearing, memory, and muscle control, to the individual players in a musical ensemble. And for him, the miracle of the brain is how it gets these complex systems to perform in perfect harmony. rather than like this. After years spent imaging brains, Marcus eventually discovered an entire metal network that coordinates our movements with our senses. And it turns on the moment you stop thinking. Nobody was even looking for this. It was almost by accident. It came to our attention that if you just were laying in a scanner and we were looking at your brain and then we asked you to do something, not only did things go up, but certain things went down. Certain parts of the brain seem to turn off whenever we begin a task. Those same regions become highly active whenever we are quiet and relaxed. Marcus calls these linked sections of the brain the default mode network because the brain defaults to this activity whenever we are not doing anything else. In fact, the brain is just as active in this default mode as when we are consciously doing something. After careful analysis, Marcus thinks he understands why. The default mode is deeply important in creating an ability to predict what's going to happen next. I think it's really critical. In the same way that an ensemble's musical director organizes the group's music, the default mode network organizes all the functions of the brain so that mind and body are always on the same page. 